Hey y'all, it's editing Burgess and um, I'm still feeling a bit grinchy. That's so good. I, I hope that this finds you well. Uh, happy holiday if uh, you're in the United States and you're celebrating Thanksgiving. I, I just got back from doing the grocery shopping for that. Our freezer is not big enough to put a big turkey in and other food. So whenever I get groceries for Thanksgiving, I always have to get it just a couple of days ahead. Um, and it can just go in the refrigerator. John Rush did a video about the 10 things he's not going to do in 2022. And on the in-between, when I made my video for Patreon about this, had doctor's appointments and some other things happen so we didn't really have a chance to edit it for YouTube and then I was like well you know what let me just let me make a new video because I don't even remember what I said I don't remember like I, I've just been having a really hard time with the ADHD lately so I was like let me just clear my head because I'm sure that I screwed up somewhere with it you know so let's just go ahead and we'll redo it because most of the things haven't really changed well, the morning that I had I was finishing up the editing and had and had started uploading my video for the YouTube preview, Sylvia from Sylvia with a Plan came out with a response video as and she got hers up before I managed to get mine up. I love her videos. Um, I have only wa I've wa I've watched some of it. I haven't watched the very end of it. I'm going to watch the end of it. I'm going to leave the links to both videos down below to Planning with John, John Brush. Um, and to Sylvia's video planning with from Sylvia from planning with Sylvia I will get it out in just a minute I haven't had enough coffee today today's been one of those kind of days Walmart hasn't had my coffee creamer neither has Aldi's neither has Bilo uh, food line I've tried every grocery store and everybody wants to drink peppermint mocha right now they don't want to drink white chocolate mocha. So they put white chocolate mocha off to the side, I guess. And I don't care that much for peppermint mocha. I mean, it's okay. I'm feeling a bit grinchy. I have tennis elbow and I actually need to be putting on the elbow strap again. So while I'm thinking about that, let me do that. So I have tennis elbow. And I, <laughs> I went to the doctor Wednesday, last Wednesday and got some x-rays and stuff they the doctor thought i originally might have bursitis i don't I have tennis elbow so anyway make a long story short it's been a very hectic week and a half couple you know there's been a lot going on. so i'm excited though because i am feeling a little er uh, a little grumpy a little grinchy about christmas but doing the grinch bullet journal spread made me feel so much better that is coming um, I'm almost finished with it. I don't really film my setting it up. I film after I set it up and talk about it. I also really enjoyed doing this video. Um, <laughs> I had so much fun doing this video. And I think it's because there are a number of things that I don't want to do in 2022. Things that I did this year in 2021. Things that I thought last year I wasn't really going to do and still did. And... Um, yeah so i don't make resolutions anymore i do goals and intentions and have an area of focus and my word for next year is actually focus because i think it's time for me to rein in some of the focus and to do a little bit more um for myself with the adhd so that the squirrels aren't so rampant and you know they can't be left alone and hopefully I'd like to be able to leave them alone to their own devices for just a little bit every now and again and trust that, you know, I can manage. So I need to see if there's a way that I can manage things a little bit better. And the doctor is helping me with that. Um, this year has been okay. It, it's had its good and it's had its bad overall. We'll talk about that later when it gets closer to the end of the year. And um, so overall, I, I think I did pretty well with my 10 or 11 um, how well I'm going to do in 2022 um, with these I'm not going to what what I'm not going to do in 2022 
I don't know. It's the moment I do a video about something, I'm ready to, do, to, to change things up and to do exactly what I said. No, you know, I don't know. It's the rebel in me. Anyway, I have an Aquarius moon. So that, that pretty much explains it all. I hope you enjoy the video. I will see y'all again really soon with another video. Like I said, I have a, uh, a December setup video to do. Y'all have a great one. Bye y'all. Probably should turn it around so that you can see where it says naughty. Because lately I've been feeling a bit grinchy, but I'm feeling much better. Might want to grab you a cup of this one's going to be a little bit chatty. John from Planning with John did a video, I think it was probably about a week or two ago. Yeah, it was probably about two weeks ago. And in the video, he talked about the 10 things he's not going to be doing in 2022. Well, I've been struggling to make the video for what I'm actually going to be doing in 2022. And you can see some of the pile. One of the things I thought I'd do before I really dig into the 2022 setup and stuff is talk about the 10 things I won't be doing in 2022. Like I said, grab you a cuppa. This one's going to be a bit of a chatty one. So the first thing I'm not going to be doing is buying ring, coil, or disc planners. I came very, very close to getting the Moxie Life 12-month flagship planner. I do have the six-month undated Cultivate What Matters. I decided I, I was, wasn't going to get it for 2022 that is not dated it's from last year and I started with it towards like the middle to the end of the year and I was thinking well I'll do it for the last quarter of the year and then the first quarter of next year since it's six months kind of get me back in the swing of things I started filling it out and I haven't finished filling it out now I still have until January because technically I haven't filled out any calendars or anything yet I could actually use it and what I'm thinking about doing is filling out the information and then using the things that I like and that work for me um, and putting those things in my bullet journal on my weekly or daily spreads or monthly or something one of the other things I won't be doing in 2022 I have it written down y'all I have it written down Sorry about the, the glare. No planner, stickers, vellum, that kind of stuff. YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, little tiny functional icon kind of stickers. There are some places that I absolutely love. Like I went to one of the journal supply stores and bought some pre-printed vellum. But I've also printed some myself. Um, I can draw things and print things. You know, I, I made, I'm, I'm going to be doing more things myself. I still do not know how to fully use Procreate, nor do I know how to use Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, but I can do things, a lot of things by hand. You'd be surprised what you can do by hand and then put in Word document or scan it and print it on sticker paper or vellum or acetate or whatever. I really, really, really wanted to get Coffee Monster Co's her holiday stickers for next year. I, I had them for this year. I had two sets. But see, like, I have stickers. And I got a thing of stickers that were seasonal. And it had every all, all of the main holidays except for Halloween. And I just used some pumpkins for Halloween. So I've already kind of set up some things. Not everything. Yeah. Number three, no pens. Especially fountain pens. But no pens unless it's something that I actually need that's absolutely necessary. I can buy ink and I can get things like white gel pen or the silver or the gold. You know, the Uniball Eye, which is the pen that I use a lot for regular writing. Because it is waterproof as long as you let it dry. Even on Toma River paper. And other pens like this one, which I can wa write on washi tape. I used to get this other one from Michael's. And it was like a gray, a dark gray and a black. And you could write on washi tape. But this is much cheaper and it writes on washi tape just fine. Number four, no more trend books. Unless I have read the reviews or I get it free with Audible. I couldn't tell you how many times I have bought books that other people started talking about, had videos about, showed on Instagram. Only to find that it's not really something that interests me. I have taken some 
of the books and like shared them with other people, given them to other people, which works fine. I have so many books that the studio is half library, <laughs> even the art books and stuff, okay? For example, Overall Adventures showed a book in a video just the other day, and I was like, I have that book. I have actually showed that book, and it is fantastic. I love what she does with it. I, I have another book that's small, that's similar to this but yeah no more trend books and we're gonna say no more trend stuff unless it's something that I have wa read the reviews about and, it, and it's actually something I need which leads me to something I definitely don't need and that is pin pouches pin cases pin bags okay see this see this This, I have the big one too, but I, I didn't have any more room on my desk. I have this little one right here that I kind of keep on my desk because I can throw it in my backpack. This one has all of the highlighter slash marker, watercolor, not watercolor, but all the different highlighters that I have. I have these iconic ones, I have the zebra mile liners, and I have some of the dots. On to the next thing, because I don't need any more of these. As a matter of fact, this is about to bust wide open. The one thing I did not ever do was buy that big 100 count of um, Tombos. And see, here's a pouch. Here's a pouch. I also have the coffee bag pouches, which are down there. And some other pouches. Oh, let's not forget this one that goes with that one. This is also the um, Peganol. They kind of go together, the, the black canvas one and the red. Okay, so that. No more pin pouches, bags, or cases. I switched because I did highlighter. That was number nine. So number six is no more covers, TNs, folios, that kind of thing. I have a lot. Not in all the sizes I want, nor in all the colors I want. I still don't have my unicorn, but it's okay because what I do have, I have found that works really well, mostly in conjunction with each other by kind of color coordinating. I am a jewel tone person. I like black, gray, white, red, teal, sapphire blue, midnight blue. I like salmon, shades of red, most of shades of blue, but not all, like a lot of the ones that are on here and the shades of like turquoise, teal. I like turquoise. That is a Filofax folio. This is a cork A6 cover from Brie. This is my go-to sketchbook, little sketch journal. Um, it is actually the one that I, I ordered um, to be David's little sketchbook because it is so small and because of the, it, it's soft. The cork is, is soft, it's malleable. I can have, put little things in the pockets back here. So it even matches, the pencil board matches the cover and this is the mixture of Tomo River paper and mixed media paper, which leads me to covers, folios, Traveler's Notebooks. I don't need any more of them. And later, if I find that there is one that I want, and there is one that I want to have custom made. I want Michael Whalen's illustration, the print, very similar to that of the gunslinger from Stephen King's Dark Tower book in the Field of Roses with the tower in the background. So he's in shadow. You can tell he looks like a cowboy. He's rolling. Whenever King was writing The Gunslinger, he pictured Clint Eastwood as as Roland. So anyway, so the next one would be no washi tape. This is the majority of my washi tape. One of the things that I have found with the washi tape is unless you buy the really good kind, after a while, it will not peel. You end up with pieces of it. Now see, this one is... You end up with pieces of it. Some of these came from Amazon. That's my Snoopy washi tape. Looks like a farm and snow. That looks like seashells. That was um, sent in Happy Mail. This I absolutely love. And it's a really good brand. It is the BGM. That looks more like electrical tape, but it's washi tape. That's a cute washi tape. Like I have some really cute washi tapes. I've been trying to use, use them up. I have all this and I'm not buying any more washi tape 
until this. Now I'm going to, I have this in the bowl because I was rifling through and I needed to clean. I have one of those white bin things with the drawers that pull out from Michael's that you put your washi tape in and I needed to clean it. So this is in here and sometimes at the craft table I will put some of the ones that I'm really using a couple of them or I would throw them in one of those pouch bag things. On to the next what I won't be doing in 2022. Switching planners. Um, that guilt that comes whenever I switch. I don't want to switch planners next year. I want to get in what I'm using. We're going to get to what I'm going to be using soon for 2022. And it's my bullet journal. Now this is where I have, I have like a mini bullet journal. That's my word for next year. This is to take with me. Like I write down appointments. It goes in my purse with my weeks. The weeks is actually for self-care and how I'm using stuff is going to be changing. I've been working towards a system that really works. I've been doing it in bits and pieces. That's one of the reasons why I've been changing back and forth so many different things. So anyway, this is a Crossfield by Nanami Paper and that's my bullet journal. Like these I use together and like these I use together and then these I will be using together. And then this one I use with the week. So everything is like working in conjunction with each other. And this, I have a tarot journal where I write the tarot. I am learning about the tarot. I watercolor tarot cards sometimes or oracle cards. I'm getting into the practice. And then I have an A5 spiritual journal that is just that. I put down astrology stuff and moon stuff, class stuff. I think... I'm going to be changing that up just a wee bit next year. I'm going to have one notebook that's strictly for class and then one notebook that has everything. And that's because I take a lot of notes and do a lot of art stuff in class. And I think it would be better if I used that for that. And then that could be the actual B6. I said they work in conjunction with each other. So these work in conjunction with each other. And then I actually have these two that go with for other things that have to do with that. <laughs> I got a ton of notebooks, which is why I have for number 10, no purchasing notebooks. I don't need any notebooks right now unless I get to the point where I'm close to running out of pages. I, one, am not going to be purchasing any more notebooks I don't like. Two, I'm not going to be purchasing any notebooks until I finish what I do have. I've got enough to go back and forth and play around in different inserts and stuff like that. So I don't need anything specific. I'm good. The Crossfield usually lasts me as a bullet journal about four months. I've got another one to go into. My spiritual journal, I am going to be changing up a little bit, but I'm using the same journal. And this, I guess this is actually the idea jotter notebook kind of thing. I have a small one, the A6, and I also have a B5 one. And then I have a B5 Stology that's for projects. So you see where I'm going with this. No more purchasing notebooks. I've got some Loistrum with the new paper in it that I started. One of them I'm using for NaNoWriMo, and I'm using it. But the other one I'm not really using for the spiritual stuff because I just find that even though I like that paper okay, I don't really care for cream paper that much. That was two, that was number 10, no purchasing notebooks that I know I won't like and won't use, as well as no more notebooks till I finish what I have. So then we get to the bonus, which is actually number 11 because 10 was part A and part B because they were linked. No subscription boxes. The beginning of this year, sometime in the first quarter of this year, I canceled Ipsy and Tamed Wild. And last year I canceled Art Snacks. And I found that Ipsy and Art Snacks were sending me some of the same things over and over again. Tame Wild was sending me different things and they're really nice, but a lot of the stuff that I was being sent, I wasn't really using. So no subscription boxes in 2022. There's only one subscription box that I would really like to get, and that's the stationary selection box. And I have been wanting it for a couple of years now since it started out, but every time I either don't have the money to get it or it's sold out whenever I do go to get it. So eventually that's on my bucket list. It's on my list, my wish list. I will eventually get that. Maybe I will pre-order or something with mitts for my birthday in July. 
That would be a lovely thing. Or maybe Christmas next year. Won't be Christmas this year. <laughs> Here is the um, B5 that is my anything, everything, and I just kind of tuck things in. So if there are things that this is, this is what the cover came from there. This printed on accident on the vellum. So I stuck it in here with that right there. And I, I printed this on accident. This was one I created and it's for the bullet journal for December, which I will be filming next because I was feeling very, I was feeling kind of crunchy. I had two doctor appointments last week. And one of those was about my elbow, which has been hurting, hurting, hurting for months now. And the doctor originally thought it was bursitis. It was not. It is tennis elbow. And it's this arm right here. Anyway, it got to the point where it was hurting for me to turn a doorknob or pick up a cup of coffee with my left arm. Anything that put any pressure on that elbow. This is one of those, um, what is it called? Old notebook, I think is what it is, or CD notebook. I I think it came from Goulet pens or Jet pens or somewhere. And the paper in it, it's graph, and the paper feels a lot like Rhodia paper or Clairefontaine paper. It has that, it's beautiful, beautiful to write with. Fountain pens. I originally had gotten that and thought I might use it for my morning pages because I could just write one page a day for there. And I still may do that because I have the B6, the B5 Stology that I've been kind of doing projects and whatever in it. And it's already a whatever, whenever. So I don't know, but we'll see. I'm converting. I'm not getting any more new, new no more new notebooks. I'm using what I have. I have composition notebooks that I can actually use for morning pages. Um, I just, I don't know. I like writing on that paper with gel pens. So that would be a good way to get some use out of some of the gel pens that I have that I can't really use on Tomo River paper. So that's, like I said, these are working in conjunction with each other. I could have added no more watercolor brushes, no more watercolors until I use up more of what I have. And whenever I do buy watercolors, I am buying tubes of watercolor. I need to get to the point where when I use what I have, I can kind of recognize what color or I'm going to have one sketchbook in particular that has each palette so that I can label what my colors are because I got quite a few pans from Etsy and I love them. But now I can't read what they say. <laughs> I can't read what color it is and I don't know all the colors. By I have several different watercolor palettes and what I need to do is use up some of what I have before I continue on to anything else. All right, so I'm done. I'm going to leave you the link to John's video below. I hope y'all have a good one and I'll see you again really soon. I'm going to be showing you my December set up in my bullet journal and then after that we'll do another video and it'll be part one for my 2022. Y'all have a great one and I'll see you again real soon. Don't forget to do the YouTube things. The like, share, subscribe, click the bell. Bye y'all.